In this lecture, we're going to see how to create a custom table space. As we've discussed before, the default table spaces are PG Default and PG Global. All tables, indices, and objects, and all user databases are stored here by default in PG Default. You also have PG Global, which is for shared system catalog objects. We can also create custom table spaces. Let's say you have a space limitation and you want to use a different file system. For example, in EBS, or when you're using EBS GP2, there's a 16 terabyte limitation, or you could have other limitations that you come across and you want to have a custom table space. It is also beneficial sometimes to relocate tables and objects to better IOs. In the case that you want to relocate some tables and indices, people typically use custom table spaces. However, make sure you benchmark to see if it's beneficial. Using too many custom table spaces is going to add to the management overhead. You have to be very careful when trying to use multiple table spaces. In this demo, we're going to create a custom table space, validate the symbolic link when it gets created, and then create some objects in the new table space. Let's get started. To start out, let's create this table space. Here we can see it says the directory does not exist. We'll have to create the directory. Because this is a test scenario, this is the path that we are using. However, when you're using it for real, it will be different. We've created a table space with this location. Now what we're going to do is see if there's a symbolic link. Remember, there's a folder called PG Table Space as we discussed earlier. Now we can see there's a link to this path from our new table space to PG Table Space. Remember when we discussed about all the directories that get created when you do a new initialization? Out of those, PG Table Space is one of them. Inside the PG Table Space, we see a symbolic link to our newly created table space now. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and create a new database which is going to use the new table space we created. So we create a database with the database name, table space, and table space 2. If you don't specify this here, by default it's going to use PG default. Now we're going to connect to that and create some objects. Now we are connected, and we're going to create this table here. And here we're mentioning we will be using the new table space. This next table we're going to create using PG default. So as you can see, we've created one table space with our new table space and one in PG default. This is how you create a custom table space, but remember one thing. If you have multiple custom table spaces, it might become complex to manage. The way Backup Restore works is also different when you have multiple table spaces. Make sure you're not creating a lot of table spaces without a good reason. I would suggest you benchmark your use case to see if you are getting any good boost or help by creating multiple table spaces and managing a lot of table spaces that may become complex.